Hi there and welcome back. Um, <clears throat> I'm back with um, the last pieces of the Woodland Friends. Um, so I'm left with six. Um, they're eight by eight, aren't they? Six eight by eight. Um, so I'm going to make uh, a few different pockets, easy ones, um, and that will be all the pockets um, made. So I have put a poll out, if you've not seen it, it's in my community uh, thread on YouTube asking what shall I do next? Shall I get all the pocket, you know, everything what we've made and decorate those? Or should we make some <coughs> embellishments? Or shall we just get on with the journal? Um, so we'll see what, what everybody um, thinks and um, yeah next month we will carry on and um, yeah I'm just going to take my time uh, with this with this project so if you pick you know embellishing I'll spend the month doing an embellishment if it's decorating I'll spend the month decorating if it's get on with the journal then I'll spend the month uh, getting on with the journal so I've cut all the strips off let me think what I'm going to do first um, <clears throat> so this these two because it's um, a thingy pattern at the back these are perfect to do this one so I'm just gonna fold it in half like so I'll get the bone folder out in a minute. I'll fold that one the other way. Okay, let's get the bone folder. So just give it a good burnish down. Now, these are inspired, really. The first time I ever see, saw these was... Um, Oh, what's Joanna's channel called? Junk Journal Treasures. And um, I've done them quite a few times and I like them because they're so simple. Um, so you just go to that corner where you folded it and <coughs> you rip down so you can see it's starting to look like a, a corner uh, pocket. Unfortunately, when you rip that way, you know, um, this side's fine, this side's not, so you have to really go go back in and just just rip it uh, the other way, which um, I'm finding difficult <laughs> for some some reason. If it doesn't rip too thick, this bit, then inking over it's just just fine. But um, yeah, that was a little bit thick. I find you know the thicker the scrapbook paper, that's what tends to to happen okay that will that will do probably a little bit wide but that's fine and then we stick that one on there or I could use that one on there but it doesn't really go does it so um or or I've seen her do do that which I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to have to rip down this side. <laughs> oh dear. It doesn't matter. We're just wasting a little bit of paper. So do I want it as tall as I eat? Yes, I do. Because um, whatever we make, it's going to be um, tall. As tall as I eat. Um, let's use, I think I was using gathered twigs to remember what I'm using on, on what we're doing quite a few uh, projects. So we'll pink down that. Lovely. I don't think I need to ink that bit. I think we hide that bit, don't we? Let's go around here. Down here and then see if we can cover that white up. Yeah. Okay, 
on this edge and down there. So where am I going to stick it? So I obviously want to stick it down the bottom. I think I might, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I was thinking um, I might keep this open a little bit, but I'm not going to. So we'll glue down this bit and down the bottom bit. So we have to have a nice, nice tall tag in this one. Okay. And then we'll stick this one down here across there. So we've got here and we've got there. I think that will look really nice when it's got um, a tag in a tag in each. Now I have got journal cards from uh, the kit, but um yeah, I'm going to have to, you know, make some handmade um, tags because not everything will fit uh, journal cards. So, that is that. And then you could always put another little pocket uh, down there and then depending, you could have a, a side uh, top. So, that's that one. Let's do it, do it again. So, start the corner I think I'm gonna oh whichever way I did it last time was wrong wasn't it well not wrong oh I don't know <laughs> it's just it's just rip okay so that's like so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna really like that let's see oh yeah it covers all right. Don't want to go too heavy handed with it being this pink colour. But it is in the woodlands and the woodlands gets very muddy. <laughs> so, down here. Oh no, I took the blinking rabbit's heads off. Sorry, Shirley. I do try, try my hardest, but <laughs> just I haven't even noticed. Right, so let's glue this. Yep. <laughs> so it's nice to be at the end and just doing some nice, you know, simple pockets, which is, I think sometimes we we forget about, especially. Um, well, I was going to say people who, who video, but not just that. I mean, for the people who, who video, obviously we, we want to be doing different um, things because, you know, you don't want to see the same things all the time. But I guess even for, for you, the viewer, because, you know, we're all making different things. So then you're wanting to try these different things. And I think, you know, some of the simpler things get, get forgotten about. And, you know, that's lovely really like it you could even um or you could make it into a flip or you could uh pin it pin it in so that's the first two so that was from joanne at um treasure books and this one um this is such a simple pocket it's it's untrue um and this is uh I, I first saw it on Tina at Shoppy Dabby Doo when I did her uh, mass make. And that's it. <laughs> that is it. So, yeah. Um, I think we'll put some pockets here. But, um, yeah, th that basically is it. I think I'm going to round some corners and stuff. Oh, I've moved around again. Oh, my goodness. Why? Why do you do it? To fit more stuff in. That's why, <laughs> that's why you do it. We all know why, why we do it, to get more stuff in. And because I still want everything accessible, um, yeah, I end up moving things around. But um, I, I think as well, you know, because we're getting more onto spring, obviously, I've got my stickers out with 
um, my botanicals on and <coughs> um, I, I've got more botanical things than, than anything else so they ended up being a lot more uh, stuff around so I had to, had to move everything around and I'm trying not to have everything you know right in front of the um, that I'm having to lean over so how wide are they? Because that's something we need to think about. Oh, that's fine. Um, just under five. So we'll do, we'll do the same. I'll do it opposite. I'm trying to make an effort to to make sure I do do opposite because. Um, you know, you tend to make things one side and then, which is fine it, when you're making them, but when you're putting them in the journal and um, you've got nothing that faces the right way, it can be, I mean, some pockets, it really doesn't, doesn't matter, but um, yeah, a lot of them you do, you do want, you know, some, some the other way. So I said this was a Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodle. This is where I first seen it, I, you know. Um, I don't know where Tina first saw it or what have you. So that is is that is that about the same? Yeah, it's funny how you um, do it. I think sometimes the the card just naturally bends at a certain. Um, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. If I'd have tried to do that the same, I wouldn't have been able to do it, but because I naturally just folded it and just just did, just did. Right, so <clears throat> that's that. So I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. I know like everybody seems to love um, this paper and you're probably sick of hearing me saying it's such a happy paper, but it really is. Um, I've got such pleasure from from working with it um yeah it just makes me feel really good inside <laughs> i'm guessing you all you all get that that feeling with i mean if i said it to you know somebody <clears throat> at the shops or something they'd probably look at me like i was a little bit strange um i did say i wasn't going to use scraps but it'd be a shame not to put any kind of pocket or should we put belly band that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. So, no, I think... Oh, well done. Oh. I feel like I want it down there, but not as, not as wide. I wonder... You know how we did the circle one? I wonder if to do a circle one down there. That's um I don't know how many it's going to take. I'm leaving a bit of a space because I'm trying to get like the <coughs> the full full images. So if we run, I mean it doesn't have to go right to the top. say one more yeah, and then at least it's another <coughs> um, okay so I'm going to have to ink all, all these up well yeah um, I think this is really apart from Tim Holtz the first paper pad I've, I've had like this um what all ma you know coordinates and and stuff so it's been a, a bit of a new experience for me and I really like you know especially because I don't use pinks and uh more pastely but I've really enjoyed uh using the pinks and that because it has been with um the genre you know that that i like because it's been foresty um i've really enjoyed using it whereas pink 
um, normally in kits is, you know, a more frilly, girly um, kind of thing, which that that doesn't appeal to me at all to do um, myself. I'm not saying I don't like it, because cause I do. Um, but yeah, myself. Oh, let's put that one up there. Right, I want to put that up there. Oh, it's throwing it down outside. I can hear um, cars going past and it's splashing. And that one there. That's it. That's about right. Is that still? No. Right, let's turn it over. So yeah, you could do all different kinds of pockets on, on these. Maybe. Oh. No, it does need to be in the middle. I'm surprised this art glitter's letting me move it, move it around, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, so that's that one. Um, where's that one? So I haven't got any paper. Mm. I need the green back down to her. So Luke. So I could have, I could have a pocket there. Might do that. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to put um, I can't think of the word a gusset in it I like that that goes up I was just thinking oh it's not really straight but I actually like it Obviously, you could do um, a corner pocket. You could do a stack of pockets. Yeah, pop that that. So that's those. And then the next one, I don't know where I saw it. I think it's probably the first pocket that that we kind of make I think it was the first pocket I made or you know something similar it's a bit I think it's just coming out just it's a bit hard to see okay so that's that's that one, so we've got a big roomy pocket there and then one there, okay? And then, I <clears throat> don't want to lose any of my scraps because obviously I want to make um, embellishments out of them. Um, these I'm going to cut to four. So that's in half like so and because they're non-directional I can just turn them up and well, I'll do it <clears throat> the other way actually it, even though it is non-directional those flowers obviously look better the, the way that they should be and I'm going to round the corner round the corner And again, you could put a small strip across there, make a tiny uh, like belly band, or you could have a little corner pocket, just to put some, you know, little tickets in or something. Or you could put another pocket um, there, but I'm going to have these, they, they're like library pockets, aren't they? Uh, non, non gusseted ones. 
right that's that one i probably well no i don't know i was gonna say i probably saw these from uh junior willow band journals but I, I might have seen them before that and this one i'm going to do it that way again you know you can vary um your size so this one i think i'll have a, a taller pocket and then a smaller uh back Okay, so that's those two. Um, and I've got one sheet left. I need to think. Okay, so I've just folded that in half and I'm going to cut it at four. And then I'm thinking I could cut it from corner to corner. Ish. I'll do it from there. I prefer them like like that. And we've got a little um, <coughs> little corner pocket. I think I'm going to round the whole thing. I think that'll look cute. And if I put that one the other way round and cut it about there, and then we've got one that side. And again, you can add another little pocket on the front. I've ever seen this I think I've probably made one before some simple simple pockets and it's less bulk as well because that's another thing you know when you make these fancy pockets and and that they, they're very bulky right so i want the glue from here to that and here Now I've got these bits left, so we don't have to do it with the pink side. So let's, yeah, may as well, don't we? Use it up, because it's going to be a bit of a funny, funny scrap. So we'll glue that down the two sides. And really, we've we've not made any scraps uh, from that. We needed a few few scraps, but um, yeah, we didn't didn't add to the scraps. So there we go. And this one, hmm, I'm gonna have to do this pink as well. Or just looks weird. I wonder if I've got. Any more of that scrap? Got that one. Just thinking how big that is. Hmm. Yeah, it's not really wide enough. Is it? Hmm. 
no, I haven't. So, what about um, a bit of a... I was thinking about a belly, um, like a band down, but I don't want to lose lose any of the rabbit. Let's see this middle rabbit. On so let me just get this pencil. Let's see if I can <clears throat> just save his save his ears. Oh lovely. Yeah. So that's that. And the bottom. And even if you don't use use the pocket for something, it it gives it a bit more interest. It's a bit more decorative. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So that's that one. So we've just made two, three, four, five, six seven eight pockets in less than 30 minutes so brilliant i shall put these with the rest of my stash and um yeah we shall carry this on next month and um i shall do do what you've voted and um yeah we'll we'll get to the next the next um um yeah part in it okay right i'm going thank you very much for for watching um don't forget easy pockets um because yeah we're, we're all guilty of forgetting all about them so i shall see you in the next video bye for now